So this morning I was asked to make a video for a local elementary school for their career week about getting a job in real estate and what that looks like and they sent me this list of questions to look over and it occurred to me that some of y'all might wonder some of these things about realtors and you know what's required so I will share this with the general public and with my realtor friends because by the way there's a lot of people who do reach out to me and I love y'all. You ask me what it's like to get a job in real estate and you tell me you're in licensing school and you want to come out of the gate successful and I applaud you for that because what you have to understand is that when you get into a job with flexible hours, you're going to go from working eight hours a day to working all of them because when you have the opportunity to work fewer than 40 hours a week, if you're serious about this, your opportunity is going to be to work more than 40 hours a week because we work a lot in real estate, particularly right now in spring, so March, April, May, we are going to be wall to wall, people. If you want some quiet time, you missed your chance. That happened in December and January now, now except you Florida snowbirds, I know y'all are special. So one of the questions that was asked of me is, do you have to go to college to get a job in your profession? And y'all, I know you're not going to agree with me, and my experienced realtor friends are going to have their feathers ruffled here shortly, but I was embarrassed to say that no, you don't need a degree to handle for what is most consumers their largest financial instrument. Now when I was a stockbroker, I had to have a college degree. I had to go through massive training to get my Series 7 license, to get my Series 63 and 65 beyond that so that I could do some specialty selling of products, for example, life insurance and annuities. And so I felt pretty educated about those products by the time I was speaking to consumers about them. In real estate, we take this little licensing class on the weekends or at nights, and granted, in North Carolina at least, they've added some hours to it, but I, I was mad. I, I, I'm mad because a couple of weeks ago, the educators came together and the North Carolina, the real estate schools, the licensing schools, they voted to lower the passing score. Now, y'all, the world knows it's too easy to get into real estate. We have a very, very low barrier to entry, which is good because there's people who maybe just couldn't make it in another career, but they were cut out for this and that's fine. But when you lower your passing scores, you can let more people get through the gates. You know who you're hurting? You're hurting the consumer because in real estate, there is no set mentorship or apprenticeship period. Somebody gets a license, the state now says, go on, go help somebody with their largest financial instrument, which they do infrequently. So it's very easy to do harm if you're not fully educated and really, really serious about what you're doing. So I, 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 I've I, got to say I don't agree with that and I hope that when it gets up in front of the commission and the legislature that they refuse to consider a lower passing score. And I do think that in the future, we should be examining the possibility of a requirement of a college degree to help somebody with their largest financial instrument and quit being so cavalier about what we do. Because when we make mistakes, y'all, it's really expensive, not just to us, but to every consumer that we touch. Think about it.